Welcome everyone. You may be wondering, how do you use the iOS 16 widgets? So actually on the lock screen, we can now add widgets. So I'm going to start off with the lock screen, then move to the home screen. So the first step is in order to edit the widgets, you're going to long press on the lock screen. It may say unlock to edit. If that's the case, unlock your device, slide down, then long press. So if you tap on customize and it says customize new wallpaper, what this means is your wallpaper you used was, uh, was from an older iOS firmware such as iOS 15. What this means is you need to create a new wallpaper by tapping on the plus here or customize a different wallpaper, okay? So we'll tap on customize and I can see the widgets view. If you tap in here, you have the option to either remove widgets like so with the minus or you have add widgets, you can tap on the widgets to add. You can add up to four small widgets, two medium widgets, or one medium or two small, okay? With small widgets only, you can drag and drop to move these around, okay, if you would like to. Once you're happy with what you got, just move out and then tap on done. Do keep in mind that some wallpapers, especially the Apple default ones, will not allow you to add widgets also, do keep in mind that if you're using a, uh, a photo or a wallpaper with depth effect, sometimes adding widgets on the lock screen will remove the depth effect. So from here, it's asking whether or not you want a custom home screen wallpaper or not. I'm just going to tap set as wallpaper pair, which means my lock screen will be the same as my home screen. And now I can see the widgets. If you tap on the widgets, it will go into the specific app. If you long press, won't do anything okay, so you can only tap, right? Now, go into the home screen. If you long press on the empty space, you're gonna be into wiggle mode. And you see the plus here, just tap on the plus. Select the widget you would like to add, let's say the app store. You can slide to the left to choose the different sizes. Do keep in mind not all widgets will have larger sizes. And once you're ready, tap on add widget, slide up or press the home button, and now you have the widget here. You can long press on the widget and then drag and drop it where you would like, okay? Move it near to the left hand side and you can, uh, left to right hand side and you can switch between the pages. Or you can just get another finger to slide across if it's not working. So I'm gonna go to the first page, set the widget here, and there we go. Also, you can use third party apps such as a widget smith or color widgets in order to create your own custom widgets. If you want to do that, search up how to use widget smith on iOS 16 or color widgets, find my tutorial, and then enjoy using the widgets. With that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.